For the past five months, you have virtually welcomed Cantor Muchnick and me into your homes for a moment of prayer and music each week. We hope that these moments have brought some introspection, comfort, and peace into your homes. This week, we would like to share with you one special prayer that serves as a reminder for peace in our homes, a concept called Shalom Bayit in Hebrew. It is our prayer, the Ve'ahavta, meaning you shall love. This prayer speaks about how we can best love God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our might. And it explains that we can best demonstrate this love through following God's mitzvot, commandments. Every day, we are to reflect upon them, recite them, and teach God's ways of compassion through our own positive deeds. As the prayer says, we are also charged to inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. What is the prayer referring to? Come on, let me show you. One of the most beautiful reminders of how we should live our lives and treat others can be found on many of our doorposts with the mezuzah. Inside the mezuzah case is a cloth, a parchment, with our prayers, the Shema and the Ve'ahavta, written on it. These prayers remind us of our relationship with God and our relationship with one another. They remind us of how we must live out our Jewish values, and this should begin in our homes. The Jewish concept of Shalom Bayi, peace in the home, has always been important. But given this time when we must spend more hours remaining safe in our homes, creating harmony in the home should be at the forefront. So how do we do this? It is easier said than done, but we can follow the three C's. One, communication, which involves truly listening to one another's feelings needs, and boundaries, and clearly stating our own. Two, collaboration, in which each person in our home is invested in working together to create the positive environment in mind. And three, giving care to one another as well as to ourselves. These values are ones that should begin in the home but must also make it through our doorways as well. There are multiple reasons given as to why the mezuzah is hung diagonally, but one reason reminds us that it points to both inside our homes and to outside of our homes, reminding us that the words, you shall love, ve'ahavta, must be lived both within our homes and outside of them. So what does it mean to love God? Liturgical poet Ruth Brin wrote, to love God is to love each other, to work to make our lives better. To love God is to love the world God created and to work to perfect it. To love God is to love dreams of peace and joy that illumine all of us and to bring that vision to life. May we strive to live with peace in our homes and also make that peace a reality when we go on our way.
teach them diligently to your children and recite them at home and away night and day by them as a sign as a sign upon your hand and a reminder above your eyes inscribe them on the top of your home With all your